गुड आफ्टरनून इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस एडिनर्जिक अल्फा एंड बीटा ब्लॉकर ड्रग्स देयर क्लासिफिकेशन जनरल मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन एंड सिंथेसिस ऑफ टोलाजोलिन एंड प्रोपरानोलोल एडिनर्जिक ब्लॉकर्स एडिनर्जिक ब्लॉकर आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एंटी एडिनर्जिक ड्रग्स और सिंपैथोलाइटिक्स एडिनर्जिक ब्लॉकिंग एजेंट prevent the response of a vector organ to endogenous as well as oxygenous adrenaline and noradrenaline these drug block the action of adrenergic drug at alpha and beta adrenergic receptors many types of adrenergic antagonist are used and several of these are clinically useful in medicine particularly in the treatment of cardiovascular disease drug that decrease the amount of norepinephrine released as a consequences of sympathetic sympathetic nerve stimulation as well as drug that inhibit sympathetic nervous activity by suppressing sympathetic outflow is also widely used in medication almost all of these agent are competitive antagonist in their interactions with either alpha or beta adrenergic receptors and one exception is pheno phenoxybenzamine and irreversibly antagonist that binds covalently to alpha adrenergic receptor these are due to important structural differences among the various types of adrenergic receptors selective beta 1 antagonist drug are used to act on the heart and selective beta 2 antagonist drug are used to act on the respiratory systems let's see the general mechanism action of alpha adrenergic blocker or antagonist alpha adrenergic receptor response in clinical relevance including alpha 1 receptor mediated contraction of artillery and venous smooth muscles alpha 2 adrenergic receptor are involved in the suppressing sympathetic output increasing vagal tone facilitating platelets aggregation inhibiting the release of norepinephrine and acetylcholine from nerve endings blockade of alpha 1 receptor inhibit vasoconstrictions induced by endogenous catecholamines vasodilation may occur in in both artillery resistance vessel and veins alpha 2 receptor regulate both central and peripheral sympathetic neurons acceleration of presynaptic alpha 2 receptor inhibit the norepinephrine release in some vascular beds these drugs promote vasodilations through the release of nitric oxide next is the classification of uh, alpha adrenergic blocker first is beta halo alkyl amines the examples are dibenamine phenoxybenzamine second natural and dehydrogenated ergot alkaloids as uh, alpha 1 receptors alpha 1 beta alpha 1 receptor blockers examples are ergotamine ergocetoxine ergocriptine ergocronine next midazole derivatives like tolozoline phenatolamine prozacin terazosin doxazosin miscellaneous indoramines yavimibin chlorobromazine next is beta receptor blocking agent or let's see the general mechanism of action of beta adrenergic blocker beta adrenergic receptor agonist slow the heart rate and decrease the myocardial contractility these prolong the systolic conduction and disturb the vent ventricular fibers dimension of the ventricular is decreased oxygen consumption is decreased and thereby decreases the heart rate and aortic pressures in blood vessel these drugs reduce the noradrenaline release from the sympathetic terminal and decrease the renin from kidney due to the blockade of beta receptor classification of beta blocker adrenergic drugs first is beta blocker with membrane stabilizing activity and instancing sympathomimetic property examples 
oxyprenolol, pinadolol, uh, subpart specific beta blockers are timolol and nadolol. Subpart C beta blocker with membrane stabilizing activity. Example propranolol D beta blocker with cardio selection action. Example S S C butolol, etinolol, metaprolol. Next is synthesis of plazolin. Uh, Tolazolin uh, can be synthesized by uh, the reaction 2 phenyl acetonitrile treated with the ethanol and uh, hydrochloric acid, resulting in the synthesis of ethyl phenyl acetamide. Further, ethyl phenyl acetamide is treated with the uh, ethane diamine resulting in the synthesis of tolazolin. So this is the uh, general reaction for the synthesis of tolazolin. Property, it is white, bitter taste, crystalline powder with a slightly aromatic odor, soluble in water, alcohol and chloroform, but sparing, sparingly soluble in ether. It is an imidazolin derivatives. It is a competitive alpha adrenergic antagonist and possess similar affinity for alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors. Medicinal uses, it is a vasodilator and has a sympathomimetic effect to stimulate the heart and cause madresses. It is one of, it is of some use in treatment of Reynolds disease, cerebral vascular accidents. It has been used in the treatment of persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn. Next is synthesis of propranolol. The propranolol can be synthesized by the reaction between alpha nephanol and epichlorohydrin, resulting in the synthesis of a intermediate. Further, the intermediate is treated with isopropylamine and resulting in the synthesis of desired drug, which is propranolol. Properties: It is a white or almost white powder, soluble in water and in ethanol. It is medicinal uses. It is used in the treatment of hypertension associated with cardiac arrhythmia, angina pectoris due to coronary atherosclerosis, and prophylaxis of the migraine headache. It is a non selective beta adrenergic antagonist and it is equal affinity for it has equal affinity for beta 1 and beta 2 receptors. So, this is the general reaction for the synthesis of propranolol. Uh, next lecture we will discuss alpha and beta 2 receptor and their distribution thank you